Hi, my name's Jason. Um, right now, I'm in rehab. Um, this is like really the only time in my life where I guess it's peace and quiet. Know when you can leave, when when you can look yourself in the eye in the mirror and know that that drug dealer is passing you and you can just keep on walking without stopping to talk to him, that's when you know that you have arrived. Hmm. If you can't do that, you've probably got no reason leaving this place. Some kids have to go out there and find out on their own. Some do. The only thing that sucks is you start over again. But, and, you know, of course, you take the risk that, you know, you, like all these other kids that I've been to the funerals for, you might just not get a second chance. Be honest with yourself, man, on why you're leaving. Many of us live with a sense of disconnection and loneliness these days. As life becomes more complicated, the sense of separation can escalate, and it's more crucial than ever to find the secret of true connecting and encountering one another. As we find true connection, both with ourselves and others, the deeper meaning of our lives become revealed and our deepest humanity emerges. We call the road to true connection the process of encountering. This process is simple, delightful, and easy to take. There are signposts and guidelines on the roads which keep us from getting waylaid. They keep our relationships and ourselves real and strong. To start, a fundamental guideline is that on the road to true connection, we do not judge or reject those we are in a relationship with, but encounter them wholeheartedly. We take the step of meeting them as they are, getting to know them, accompanying them in what is happening right now. Through this process of encountering, we discover who we both are. To start, it's crucial to allow ourselves to encounter the situation and one another with fresh eyes. Forget about how the person used to be or where a few days ago. Everything evolves and changes. Give them room to grow. Let the person be new. Let yourself be new as well. This process is often accompanied by joy, playfulness, and many unexpected moments of insight. A unique relationship develops then, one of mutual trust, openness, and appreciation. Others feel the way you perceive them. Do not look for their weaknesses, but for their strength. If you look for what's wrong, you'll find it. It's like looking for bugs under a rug. More and more will come out. You'll find this issue in that. But if you look for their strength and beauty, not only would it help them, it will help you. And I guess as men and women in recovery, you know, not just not drinking and drugging, you know, but it's about becoming honorable. I think that there's something wonderful about becoming honorable. don't think you should leave because there's nothing nothing out there for you except drugs and you have this weird thing with 9-11 which I still never understood any other day but 9-11 what are you trying to tell us Jason do you think I'm gonna relapse yeah to be honest everybody relapses especially when they leave mad early look at Daniela you see for two days We have a wild kangaroo in the middle of Dynamite Youth Center. Right there, you can see a fucking kangaroo. All right, come along. We're gonna go approach this kangaroo. Wagging his tail. Closer. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Walid. Oh, 
modo video of fucking Indianapolis. Walk a little bit, you hit the gym. Gonna see the gym. And then we have the look. They did the board. Somebody did the board, you know. Boys' bathroom, then the girls' bathroom. I cleaned that. It's a cool house. We're going to speak Spanish. I guess. Salvadoreño. And I'm sweating. Super godless. Better part of this program is that after we do half of like it's really mental, like help you to like just come and feel your toes, think about your life, come with a better resolution and things like that, you know? The scream house. Scream. Like scream. basically you just have to scream. He you scream. scream. She scream like ah. That's garden. the greenhouse. This is the garden. Growing real tomatoes. And that's like um the greenhouse where we have flowers, we plant flowers. <laughs> First you walk and you're gonna see the silver the screw. Seed. The silver screw, like there is one way to no. Oh, you see this? this all the threat right here. Do not come to back door or get. The we have the best where everybody keeps this stuff and hides things and hides those. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We have the dining area and then we got the Misfits, Jefferson and Alexander. This is the coffee station where we do coffee. With no internet. With no internet, exactly. So this page is like, they tell us like who have money meeting, phones, plan stuff, and firearms and the agent tab. The kitchen, guys! All great food, never frozen, always fresh. You know, always fresh. Always butcher. fresh from the butcher. Fryers. If you, if you skinny, you wanna get fat, come to Dynamite. Natural is Natural all... Alexis, but I go by Lexi. Dynamite Youth Center, a rehab in Fallsburg, New York. Okay, so I love fentanyl and heroin. Oh, we don't. Right? Well, so I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be accepted by people because I had no friends prior to this. So I was like, oh my God. So at the friend group, I first started getting into drinking. Then I went to like Xanax and then I went just downhill to fentanyl right away. And I just want to be cool. Like, I remember at first I wasn't snorting it. At first I was like just popping little pieces of it. And my ex was like, this is right, like, right around the time me and Max got together. And he was like, yo, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not cutting you pieces anymore. Either you're gonna snort this line or you don't get it. But in the beginning I would do it like once, twice a week. Like, it wasn't like an everyday thing. And then it progressed to an everyday thing. My life has changed tremendously. I no longer want to use fentanyl. Mm. I just want to drink. I can go for a nice drink, a couple shots. Can't do that because then I can't. I just I take it too far. Yeah, know? yeah. Don't do that. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Mm-hmm. We're cooking out right now. It's the UIC Olympics. What is that? Um, where the Brooklyn Center and the Upstate Center come together and compete against each other in a bunch of sport events and in morning meetings. Oh hi. 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 Where are we today? I asked this to everybody. We're in the crazy house. Yeah, we are. The nut house. Yeah, we are. Dynamite, she's the favorite chef. She really does good. I'm the, right I'm the sheriff? She's the chef cake, Ashley. But she does good food. Chef cake? No, pastry stuff. Tell, tell them, tell them. Who am I talking to exactly? The camera. This is my best friend, Jayla. We've been together to love. I love this bitch. She's a little crazy, but she's just very nice. Oh, and this is my friend, Carla. It's a little cookie. She's Hispanic. Oh, I'm Hispanic, so I'm from Mexico, Guatemala. This is Rudy B. Hi, Rudy. Hi. Wait, what are you filming? Rudy B. Uh, 
<laughs> Rudy, so tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Well, I come here to look at these young ladies and become ladies. Oh. And they're very pretty. And they're so, so sweet. Sometime over the rainbow they may go. But always, this one here, oh my lord, please help us. <laughs> Get the hat, look. Trump 2024! Hey, let's go. Uh, if Donald Trump is watching this, what would you like him to know? Donald, do the right thing. Keep that little mouth shut. Don't speak out, because then they know what you're thinking about. Believe me, you learn from this area. Keep that mouth closed. We want you in there. Can't you see? Look, 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 look. Let's Bye. Go. Bye. Yeah, tell us what you do, where this is, you know. Why am I telling you what I do? Because why not? We do look like Debbie's not playing on games. So David, he's the favorite nurse here. She's really sweet and kind. The she only nurse. Working alone. The only, only nurse, nurse. actually. Oh. I think I'm not we the have nurse. two nurses. She will yeah. come in when you're withdrawing while she's at the car dealership <laughs> just to come and get you right. Yep. That's David right there. So say life is gross. Okay, let's mm. go. Bye, Debbie. Bye, Debbie. All right, Valentine. So tell so, us yeah. what this place is and what you did in here that one time that got you in trouble and your whole team in trouble, actually. You know what? You got to Is that how Joe slaps your ass? Yeah. Um, it's pretty full of gas, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and it, it has a blue lid. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know what I'm doing with gas tanks when nobody sees me. You know what I'm doing with this freaking thing. Alright, goodbye. Cool. Okay, goodbye, Valentine. <laughs> Dynamite Youth Community. This is a rehab. Drugs, I guess. But like, just more like, just work on how to live in a community, I guess. Why am I here? Because you're an alcoholic, right? I'm here to be the case. That's it, that's all. I'm not here to get sober, I'm here to be a case. I advise y'all not to do that. Harper, friends. Um, Dynamite's all about making your own destiny and being sober. And Waleed. I'm selling drugs. Okay. Um, I Fire. Got Fire. I went to jail. Fire. I spent five months in jail. Fire. And they told me I don't got to do the time. I'm here for 12 months. I said, oh, why not? Wow. What, what Dynamite's all about? It's about helping, healing, and soberness. Dynamite wow. is all about connection. Yeah, where were you, um, you like, oh, what? Dynamite to me is like, kind of like losing a lot of yourself. Um, like in my experience, I lost a lot of myself mm. that I wish I didn't, but in, like in turn, I also gained a lot about myself and like my confidence and love. I actually uh, came to Dynamite Bald and because oh. I was like pulling out my hair oh. like about 10 years okay. from stress, anxiety, it's called trichotillomania. Mm -hmm. And in Dynamite, I was actually able to stop pulling out my hair. Yeah, it's about all that good stuff. Get you, get you right, get your life right, change you, change your life. Um, a lot of drugs oh. and some other stuff, some, some, illegal, some illegal activities. Stay away from drugs, kids. Um. So, what's your relationship like with your dad? I'm kidding. You know, that's not real. My dad's that's dead. not. Okay. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I didn't. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. No. I feel really guilty. Yo, Eric. Yo. So what you been doing, bro? 
you know, playing hard, getting money, regular shit, you know. Did you win? Did you win today? Every time. Every time. You know, the way I roll. This is my guy. The way, this is my guy. This is what's up. The way we this both roll, the way we both roll is that we just don't lose, okay? Never Poland. lose. Only W. Straight W. You want to see? This is for the ladies watching. Remember that. I will <laughs> always be here. Get it, money, gotta get it. Get that money. What you doing, Eric? Where you going? You actually want to come see my fucking Yeah, bro, let's style? fucking go, bro. Yo, guys, chill. I got TV up in here right now. TV Chris, what's yo, up? I'm two for two right now. Yo, yo. Yo, on the road. MTV, get my ride. All right, pop out. Show my real Jason, bro. Like, you should have fucking been here. J Money Bags right there. They're my best players. All right, let's go, let's go. Two mad one. I was like, this is my boy right here? What the fuck? But that's basically what I do every day, bro. Well, not every day. I used to be a crippling drug addict, but I'm on TV, dude. Yo, show him the thing, show him the thing. What thing? Can't do that shit. Show him the handshake, show him the handshake. Oh. That's what's up. I'm gonna show this to my parents. Man. How do you feel, Wally? Look, motherfucker, I'm fucking barber, fuck up my shit, bro. Look at that shit, bro. Look, man, and even shit like that in our hand, like, bro. Where are we at right now? now? Where are we at right now? Nigga, right now we hit DYC, nah, same DYC, my boy Jason, one month, almost one month. Me, nigga, I just came back from home, nigga, fucking some bitches. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, eh, eh, eh. Look, I was fucking her like this, you know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm back in this fucking rehab bullshit. All right, what's up, niggas? I'm about to show y'all niggas how to fucking roll clothes, nigga. All right, so first you gotta go like this, right? And then you gotta... What do you want my parents to know right now? That you are a wonderful person that deserves opportunity and love and you're a good kid just went through a lot of bad things just like the rest of us but you need to learn how to communicate better and be more understanding and mindful not all mothers I, I don't know how it works for rabbits so there's a left them for dead there's a bunny nest right there and we think the mom died. We're not allowed to touch this, but I guess we're going to. Yo, there's chill. only like three. I guess somebody ate one. Uh, I want to pet it, but they said I can't. Cherries? What is that? Those are supposed to be cherries? I think so. Eat it, eat it, I think it, I could, like, cut it. off the, um, the leaves and try to feed it to someone to see if they eat it. <laughs> Just see what happens. Trying to save the animals? Nah, this is not going to save anyone. I'm probably going to kill someone. i be like, yo, y'all want some cherries? Eddie, tell us about your story. My oh, story. I'm an open book. I like dope. Remember this one time, bro? There was this, this bitch, she was this, this female, and she was fire, bro. But she was just like saying that she loves me and shit. I was like, oh, nah, I, was, I don't love you. And she was like, what? And she was like, I'll let you none of me. I was like, oh, word? And I was like, bro, none of that shit. And then I was like acting all nice and shit. And when she did, bro, I blocked her, bro. Who's up for that? Well, I think this place is about helping kids. Um, I think it's the most important job in the world. I think that there's nothing better to see than someone who comes in here traumatized and broken and the ability to watch them grow and to, and to tra transform into something that's, that, that's truly beautiful. I struggle with terrifying, crippling anxiety. Mm -hmm. Crippling anxiety, social phobia. I couldn't even move out of my house without drinking. And I got the heroin and things like that. So another, you know, another thing that could calm me down. You know. What advice would you give to somebody young who's, you know, um, falling into the the trap of addiction? You know, alcoholism. It's worth something, you know. 
pitch awards something that just me and you is enough. And to know that, and that there, there are people out there that care. Um, and that nobody can force you to do anything, but it's certainly, there's so many advantages to being happy, you know, sober and clean, and happiness is actually one of them. And like, I think that we, as, you know, as addicts and alcoholics, forget that we can actually have fun and be happy, you know, in the... Uh, in the pro- and when we're in, when we're in the belt, when we're there, mm-hmm. and even before we're there, he's just leaving. Um, we can get to that point where, where it's like almost free addiction. And, and if we can catch somebody, if I can catch you, and I, I see you in your at your own space and you're alone, that's the time to approach you. I, I would think. So, uh, yo, yo, what's going on? It's one of our leaders in the spot. You know what I'm saying? They fucking got your boy indicted and shit. You know what I'm saying? Have you smoking and vaping? Fucking dorms and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, crazy. See that guy right there? He's fucking, he has leukemia cancer, but he's not gonna say it. You know what I'm saying? He balled that shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on, but he balled. Your boy got indicted, bro. Motherfucker started caught me vaping the dorms and shit. Fucking Officer Cash caught me lagging and shit right now. We about to go do laundry and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? What, what? Laundry, nigga. I'm scared of all. Yeah. What is this? It's your fucking dildo? Yeah. I knew you were cheating on me. Mm. Yo, what the fuck is going on here? What's up, gang? Free, free to all. G. Give me a raisins. Give me a raisins. He's a big ass head, but he really dank hard. I swear he got a big ass head. Like, that's a pretty good job, but like, you're 45 years old, you cook at Cheesecake Factory. Like, come on. <laughs> like, that's not really a flex. It's my boy Harrison in the building. You gotta tell, tell the world, bro, what happened to you. I was seeing my family. We were at Olive Garden. I don't even know why. There was this rambunctious, like, I think she was like six years old. She was like rough looking, though. The roughest six year old I ever seen in my life. She runs up on me, grabs my hair, and pulls a chunk out. And we started scrapping. I'm not gonna lie. So basically, we started scrapping, whatever. And at the end of it, my hairline was all fucked up. I had to shave my head, you know, just try to save face. But like, you think I look bad? You should see her. What made you decide to like put hands on her? Bro, listen, bro, if anybody's trying to step to me, like, that's not my place. Rumors had it that you rubbed your bald head on her face. And then... I was involved yet. No, shit, you were not. Okay. So, that's a f- false rumor. So. They're saying you look like Mr. Bean. Mr. Clean, I'm sorry. Mr. Clean? I never met him. You were saying that that's your father. What? He's already in deep water for a faith thing. I can't believe you did that. Alright, let's stop recording and get born. Fuck! Yo, I'm 16, I'm 16. So, I was for YouTube content. Let's go see what the soccer team is all about. I'm gonna find out if you're there. Do you want to keep your little brother? Yeah. Do you want to get put on the talking band with him? Put the camera down.
today is my last full day in rehab. Um, it's definitely been an interesting month. I will be going home, I think, tomorrow. And I don't know if things will be okay when I go back home. Whatever happens, happens, I suppose. And, um, all I just gotta focus on getting a job and going to school and making money and hopefully not fuck up my life again. Like I have countless times. All the people I've lied to, all the shitty things I've done. Hopefully, not hopefully, I, I have to not do that again. So, yeah. I don't know if things will be okay after this, but whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Ninjas? Fuck the icy. What that is? Air problem. You get one of them? Wally. Yeah. If I had you wear Fruit of the Womb underwear, it would be so easy to have your hands. Hey. hey. Dream of, dream really do come true. Someday you wish upon a star, wake up where the clouds are far behind. Be where trouble melts like lemon drops, high above the chimney top. That's where. Maybe if you spent more time with me, none of this would ever well, happen. I'm not your fucking pops, all right? I'm almost spending time with you. Well, I'm done. Packing. All right, nigga, yo, I'm gonna fuck with y'all, nigga. You might, this might be the last time you'll be seeing me. But Jason, I love you. Stay healthy. Stay strong. Keep your head up. Be powerful. Love you. <laughs>